Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure when you listen to this amount, you do know that it is just a drop in the ocean. And ladies and gentlemen, there are close to 5,000 to 6,000 patients who need this kind of support every single year. So well, my question to you is, do you think we can? Yes? Excellent. All right. So yes, it's true with that victorious cry of cheer. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for us to welcome Amitsas, a very, very special lady. Well, they say for the changes we seek and the changes that we face ahead. It is Good evening, ma'am. Thank you for joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, they say the hallmark of an individual and a person who is at a position of power is how well they keep their time. And it was incredible to see her come, bang on time, wait, and I must say, bear that beautiful smile as always. A very, very warm welcome to you, Mrs. Ladies and gentlemen, could we have a huge round of applause for her yet again? Thank you, ma'am. A very good evening to all respected dignitaries present here today. I am very happy to associate myself with an organization which is caring for the ones who need utmost care at this moment. In fact, cancer strikes our lives silently. And once it strikes, it, it creates a turmoil in the lives of the patients as well as their families. When cancer strikes, it's not, not just the patient, but the whole family suffers from this disease. In fact, every year in India, currently, there are 30 lakh cancer patients, and 10 lakh every year are added. In fact, 5 lakh patients are dying of cancer every year, and Maharashtra is ranked second in the number of uh, cancer detections every year. And the most common cancer, as we all know, is head and neck cancer, which comprises or constitutes of one third of the cancers we have in India. Surprising thing about it is, it is mostly contracted by the people of the lower economic strata. And most of the registrations with Tata Cancer Hospital are that of uh, these people who are unable to even afford. So here I would request all of you to create an awareness because diagnosis is the first step which can prevent such a big disease, such a bad condition of so many people. And to create this awareness, what we need is to be verbally active. We have to participate through our Twitter or Facebook handles to create awareness anti-tobacco awareness and also we have to uh, our media has to help us out the print media newspapers and channels into creating this awareness here i take this opportunity to thank mahika for m can endeavor she is genuinely very concerned heartily concerned about the cause and MCAN has been doing great work since last four years by collecting funds through this fundraiser which go to specially patients who are suffering from head and neck cancer at Tata Memorial Hospital. I would here request all of you to donate generously, wholeheartedly, because true happiness is to be found in others' well-being. And I firmly believe in Mahatma Gandhiji's words that in order to find yourself, you have to lose yourself to the service of others. So please, tonight, donate and please help out in the cause of cancer awareness and eradication. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, a loud round of applause.
for Sammy, but before that, could we please have all of you kindly say a few words? I'm sure they need a little bit of starting up. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for having us here, first of all. And uh, I'm really glad that, uh, you know, we can be part of something like this, which is so special, and be part of it in our own small little ways, uh, because I know how passionate you guys are about this. And uh, I think, uh, you know, cancer is something that everybody unfortunately experiences, whether it's your friends, whether it's your families. Uh, you know, I've had the... It's been sad, but I've, you know, I've had two people very close to me that have suffered from cancer. And I know how difficult it is uh, for, for the person that is suffering and the person, uh, the, the families and what they go through as well. Uh, so it's wonderful. I think the only way that we can get together uh, and defeat this is to do something like this, which is to come together, uh, you know, lighten our purses, lighten our hearts. And I suggest that everybody first, uh, before we go on with the auction, uh, everybody heads to the bar as a couple of shots because I believe that loosens your wallets as well. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, hopefully we can raise lots of money and uh, hopefully all this money can go into the wonderful work that they're doing. Uh, so thank you, thank you so much for having us here and thank you for all the wonderful work that you guys are doing. I mean, it's, uh, uh, I was there at the Tata Memorial and I had the chance to see firsthand all the wonderful work that is happening. So thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for going first, Pratap, and stealing my speech. <laughs> I, uh, firstly, good evening. It's, this place is looking beautiful. We were sitting backstage and listening to some of the speeches and listening to some of you who have already loosened your pockets and contributed quite a lot. I want to congratulate Manika, of course. It's a beautiful fashion show, and you have a beautiful heart. And for the past four years, I know you've been doing a lot to raise money, and especially for, as people have been talking about, head and neck, cancer and it all goes of course to Tata Memorial. I'm sure all of you know everything, you've already been told all the facts so I won't bore you again. Uh, except for saying that it is of course something, a disease that is devastating and one that we have to continue to fight against. The fact that all of us are here in this room today means that we all support that but we do need lots and lots of money. I know that we started that journey but we have a long way to go. There was a big target last year uh, it was close to a crore, uh, so we need to get there and uh, you know, there's a long way to go still. So continue to spend lots of money and be assured that it's going in completely the right place for completely the right cause. And thank you for being here and thank you Mahika for inviting me. I have to also thank Kirit Bhai, uh, Kirit Bansali who also invited me here today. And thank you all of you for being so lovely and so generous. And please continue to be this way and I'm sure that we will beat Cancer, which is what we're all getting. I'm afraid. Uh, Dr. Cruz, would you kindly say a few words? Uh, it's been a lovely evening, and I don't want to clutter it with long speeches, but I'll be failing in my duty if I don't say a few thank you. I'll be failing in my duty if I don't say a few thank you on behalf of my patients. First to our First Lady of Maharashtra. Madam, you've been wonderful, spontaneous, come on board. But when I met you the first time, you said you're going to sing as well and you disappointed us. So a few, a, a, a few, a few lines from you, Madam, please. I've already spoken, so now you ask me to sing. I would definitely oblige you for the reasons great work you are doing. Uh, just four lines. Give me some ego. Ego.
Honourable Man, thank you so much. And I'm sure you will agree with us that we've chosen an awesome band, brand ambassador for our admission. A thank you to Mahika, Kunal, Zoya, the whole group. All of you have been wonderful and the girls at the back. Thank you so much. You'll support us year after year. Two wonderful people to my left, Gul and Shalini. There was always someone behind the scene. They do a wonderful work. They stitch all this together. Apart from this event, they give the hospital a lot of donations. So a round of applause to the two of them, please. And ladies and gentlemen, your hands together for yourselves. Without you, this support would not be there. And on behalf of all the patients that you all have held, thank you so much, year after year. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you everybody. Mahika, parting words? Come on, of course, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Mahika Bipuri. Round of applause, everyone. I would like to thank firstly um, our first lady, Amrita Padmanabhi, for doing this honor and uh, being with, with us here. And I'm really, really very touched. She's a lovely soul and very inspiring. And whatever she does, um, I every time just look up to her with so much awe. And uh, Kunal and Soha, thank you so much for being here today. Um, it's really nice to know that people from different walks of life come and help the cause and add more power to the evening. And that was the purpose of today. We're trying to raise as much funds. We're going to eat, we're going to drink. But guys, we have to, have to raise money. That's the purpose of this evening. The monies all go direct to Tata Memorial. So please donate and please help me help the underprivileged so they can survive. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Nanda. Thank you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the evening is uh, still young. And uh, yes, there are lots of things that you should pick up, but 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 very quickly we'd like to thank uh, on we heard the, music by Fasa. the show director Anu Ahuja, makeup and hair Reshma Merchant, backstage manager Delnaz Darwala, event production Landmark Events. A huge shout out going out to Moet and Shandong, wines by Brent Colton, Carrier Water by Bill and Beluga Vodka by Hindustan Liquids by Gurinder Hal. Thank you, Mr. Dhal, again. Giveaways by Kim Malkani and Ramal Chulas. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kubra Seth. My name is Anish Seth, and uh, the auction is uh, going to be a silent one. Yes. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All of you. In the center, please. Kunal, right here. Done. Done. Oh, I shut from here. On your right here. Kunal, right here. Thank you. Kunal, right here. Thank you. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, जी बहुत अच्छा था क्योंकि मुझे लगता है जो जो रीजन हम सब यहाँ पर आए हैं वो बहुत नोबल है और बहुत अच्छा कॉज है मुझे लगता है कैंसर एक ऐसी बीमारी है जो अनफॉर्चुनेटली ऐसी बीमारी हो चुकी है जो इतनी स्प्रेड हो चुकी है कि हर फैमिली में है हर यू नो आपके दोस्त कोई ना किसी ना किसी का दोस्त को कैंसर है किसी के घर में किसी को कैंसर है तो आई थिंक इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट पीपल कम टूगेदर एंड फाइट दिस And I think uh, Mahika is doing a damn good job because uh, you know, वो पिछले चार साल से काम कर रही है, funds raise कर रही है और ये funds start up memorial hospital को जाते हैं. So I think it's it's wonderful and I'm very happy that I had chance to be a part of something like this.
जी मुश्किल तो नहीं होता चलना ही होता है बस एंड स्पेशली वन यूर एन इन्वायरमेंट लाइक दिस वे लाइक आई सेट यू नो इट्स ऑल फॉर अ गुड कॉज एंड एवरीबडी इज हियर टू सपोर्ट ईच अदर एंड सपोर्ट द कॉज इट्स ऑलवेज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ अन Wow, that's a good one. I don't know, man. Maybe genetics. <laughs> okay. All right, but do you take uh, specific care while dressing up, or what is the three major things that you look for? Watch out the things. Uh, well, I just make sure I'm groomed well. Uh, yeah, but there's not so much thought that goes into it. Uh, it's just stuff that I I like and I enjoy. All right. Uh, becomes part of right. uh, what the, I wear. On the professional front, what's coming up? What are the films that that's coming up? Oh uh, well, uh, there's a film called Viram, which is up for release, uh, which is a trilingual film. We shot in Malayalam, Hindi, and English. Okay. uh i play a warrior in that okay uh, it's the first time it's a it's a movie of many first for me because i play a warrior for the first time uh, i'm doing an action film for the first time uh, i'm doing a trilingual film for the first time and uh, yeah it's been a lot of fun and i'm looking forward to how people react to it so do we get to see rip muscle from uh, well the attempt was i don't know how far and how successful i was with that but yeah that was the attempt and new projects that you're planning on apart from well i've also finished a film called dear zindagi uh, which is gauri shinde's film yeah. and i'm currently shooting a film with uh, tigmanshu dhulia okay. uh, which is called rag desh okay. uh, which is up for release early next year as well okay how is it working with sharuk in dear zindagi well you know unfortunately this time i didn't have uh, uh, i don't have scenes with him in the film uh, which is a bit bit unfortunate because uh, the last time i worked with him was right. was don too and it was incredible fun i mean he's a great guy to work with and i i hope uh, you know i get a chance to work with him some point in the Salman, future and sharuk both of the bucket list only amit man No Salman I haven't worked with Salman oh, as yet. Sorry. Uh, Amir and Shahrukh off the bucket list. Yeah Salman. But you know they are addictive they never off the bucket list I'd like to work with them again. Okay all right. <coughs> a lot of chatter happening around the cross cultural thing. Right. That, that, that right. Been, what's your take Kunal? Well you know honestly I I wouldn't like to say anything about it because I think anything that anybody says gets distorted gets sensationalized right. and gets taken out of context. No, but, but so I believe that it's best not to say anything about it right now. No, no but uh, anything at all do you think a statement of condemnation from them is forthcoming or something i like i said i wouldn't like to say anything about it right now yeah right. Thank thanks you. thank you thank you thank you yeah thank you thank you thanks guys